when does overseas basketball start? Most of the time, the overseas basketball league starts the same time as the school year. So normally, I don't know if I answered this question in the last time I did a frequently asked question, but I'll answer it again. Normally it starts in, I know in Europe, they normally try to do 10 month season. So it'll be from like August to May or June. No, June will make it 11. So August and May, that's normally a season. In Japan, I know it's nine months. So it'd be like September to May. Normally it starts, the average starting time is between August and September, halfway through September. Taiwan, as you can see, like where the white just went, they start later on in the season. The Western Asian Super League that just started, they started in November. And they end in like May, six, seven months. I know teams that uh, countries like uh, Canada, they start like in December. But the average, average basketball season, the best way to compare it is to an average school year. So between August, mid to late August to about May. Anytime you go past May, it's because you're in the playoffs and you're in the finals. Like my season that I last played in Chile, they lasted, we went all the way until June, halfway through June, because we went to game six of the finals. That's about the only time that it would just creep over and last that long. And that was like seven month season, seven and a half, seven and a half, yep. And then you got the summer seasons. Those start from like May to August. Those be those middle, those summer league seasons from like May to August, midway through August. Just depends on how long you go. DR, Venezuela, China has their summer league or some just examples. I know um, Australia is another league that has a summer league where they're not they're not going to be more than two to three months two and a half to three and a half months max those are like the two different seasons that are the norm i would say when it comes to basketball and the season length that goes on next question what's up guys i just dropped my new ebook six must have steps to be an overseas basketball player you know, I've been playing for the last nine years. I got all the steps and the traits that you need to start your journey. Networking, getting mentor, all the things that you need to start your journey to be a pro today. So go get that ebook, click the link in the bio, and make sure you can just step to being that overseas pro one day. Let's go. How many overseas basketball teams are there? Well, how many overseas? That is in. I, I, I can't just give you that answer just because there's just too many leagues. I'll just give the example of here. I'm in Argentina and I'm in the second division of Argentina. And we have two divisions, two conferences, I should say. The We're in the South and in the North. There's about 12 teams just in the South Conference. Then there's another 12 in the North Conference. And then you got the first division where there's about 15 teams, 16 teams in that whole first division. Then there's like a third league that has like another 12 to 13 per conference. So that alone is what? Jeez, 50 teams, 60, 55 teams just in one country? Chile, they have first, second division. It'd be like 10 to 15 teams there. Second division, it'd be the same thing. 10 to 15 each conference. So there are a lot of leagues. There's so You got to go by country. There's so many different countries. You got to go by whatever country. And whatever standard for that country for the leagues and division japan has a lot of teams they have a lot of divisions they pay well asia is just be popping they be popping bigger countries more leagues more different basketball opportunities 
so you can play. It's just a, a way of navigating your way through there and finding one that fits you. Three on three is starting to pick up a lot. So that's a diff, a whole other aspect of a league that's starting up. And that's so new. Like there's just a bunch of tournaments and stuff like that. But that's a whole league. I almost just let, I almost before I came to this team was supposed to go and play in China for a three on three team. And they was going to get paid more money there than I was going to get here. So this basketball is just so much on the rise that there's, and I feel like there's endless opportunities and it's limited because the majority, regardless of how many teams there are in leagues, there's only so many, so many spots because the average amount of team, amount of players that are on a team are all between one to three. And by half of that is one to two. So you're not getting such a great chance unless you're just uh, that good of a player and you work just as hard or you're just that good that you could, your name is buzzing and you got a good agent and you put up good numbers and you got a good resume. Actually, in how hard you work in the situation and what country you run. And because like, sometimes you can go to one country and they won't even let you play in another country because they don't respect that country. That's a whole nother topic for another time.